Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video where we are going to see all the signs. <laughs> we are going to see all the signs. This is what I received from P. Louise and this I got through the kindness of Andrea who is one of my besties and she bought this for me. Seriously, thank you so much sweetie. <laughs> anyway, so this is the All I See is Signs packaging like seriously sweeties um p louise rocking packaging mm. okay so now um let me show you the palette before we go into the video and there is so much more so this is the palette and again packaging is just stunning i mean yes it is big and it's bulky um but still like really and then you have this oop, <laughs> then you have this beautiful sleeve like even the sleeve is beautiful is it the sleeve well whatever it is you know even that is with the collection like you know it's like a whole big package deal you know and here you do have this spectacular looking palette if you ask me um no don't ask me i will tell you later in the review part okay so now i'm going to also show you uh, what else i got because andrea also got me lashes all i see is signs all I see is lashes <laughs> so I'm going to wear them in today's look also and what I think is so so amazing is actually also this uh, I didn't know that this is part of the collection but this is like a chart for how to be successful and uh, you know how to reach your goals and stuff like this and it has like one one thing on the one side and then on the other side it has like other charts and it's it's so amazing like smart goal checklist goals to achieve date to achieve them by and it's it's so adorable please go to the website and check this out because seriously I was so thinking about my channel and about everything that I'm doing here and you know and this was like wow Liara this is what what I need to just put down into writing what I want to do what I want to achieve and like have it in such a nice way in such a beautiful way you know like really so uh, this it was so hard for me to not touch this before I'm starting to film you wouldn't believe so yeah so everything here is of course in this whole in this whole uh, design and everything it's like so cohesive this is what was on top of the packaging when I opened the package and everything is just so beautiful you know like really special okay let me just drop this on the floor sorry okay so now <laughs> that we've all um, been exposed to this beautiful uh, collection kind of a situation. I just want to introduce myself in case you're new here because I'm Leora, I am a makeup artist and stylist and this is very early in my morning so this is pajama time but I am very much into colorful makeup and colorful styling so if you are up for that then watch till the end of the video because there I'm gonna come back with the finished look and the finished styling so you will see what I mean. Okay besides that I have already done two looks with this palette off camera those looks you're going to see right before the review part together with these swatches and today we're going to create the uh the third look obviously okay so now uh let me show you a little bit more what i'm doing but don't forget to subscribe because that would be great okay so here is the palette a little bit more close up and um, I have done all kinds of color schemes already. Um, I think one of the looks you saw already in one of my recent new makeup releases videos where I had like a cut crease kind of a situation was a beautiful look. And I've also done a look going into those ochre egg yolk kind of a mustard situation here. And today I actually want to go a little bit more into this area because I have not used this yet. But maybe pair it up with something else I don't know yet honestly I don't okay so that is what I'm gonna do and I also uh, of course want to talk to you about something because you know if you don't know uh, when I'm doing my makeup looks I'm kind of going into this whole thing you know how YouTube used to be before it became all complicated and corrupted so um, I actually just sit here and do some makeup you know and chat with you about something that um, happened or like a conversation or a, a, an event or something that kind of sparked something that I want to talk about okay while we are doing that I should <laughs> I should start working so let's just go in with which shade should we go in with maybe with this corally shade and this is hard to hold up um, maybe this one 
and this is the shade universe and uh, maybe let's just put this down and see what happens all right so let's do that okay so what I want to talk to you about today is actually another occurrence that I had with my oldest son Akiva. Now uh, some of you know him already, he has been here visiting me on my channel and I've also spoken about him a couple of times already because he is an incredible child. I'm so so grateful to have him and I wanted to uh, share another thing. <laughs> so just recently I spoke about him in a video I don't remember what review or what first impression look that was where I spoke about um, how he handled a situation where I was very close to a panic attack in a supermarket and uh, this story today is actually also on actually on the way home in the car from one of our grocery shopping trips so it was not that same day um, of, that I spoke about the other time but um, it was also grocery shopping because now during summer vacation when I'm filming this he's at home and um, he comes with me you know because it's nice we spend some time together we kind of hang out and he also helps me to just get through the day you know in case you don't know I'm kind of really panicky when it comes to supermarkets <laughs> don't ask okay so anyway <laughs> welcome welcome to my channel <laughs> yeah um, so I'm just going to like build this up a tiny little bit more and I kind of feel like I want to put um, a yellow a yellowy mustardy yellow in the inside maybe maybe I should do that let me just find another brush like this do I have another brush like this yeah maybe let's go into this one here the secret this one which is the lightest yellow it's not like a super super bright one but I think it could kind of fit into this whole situation so let's just put this here in the inner corner a tiny little bit all right so we were in the car we had the groceries in the car and we were just like talking and I think you know in a lot of ways um, car talks are one of the most relaxing and kind of fun because I don't know I just like to, to drive and and chat you know maybe I should film while I'm driving you know <laughs> should do that but anyway um, so we were talking and now my son is kind of really really fast becoming a teenager and um, also of course starting to be interested in girls which puts the fear of God into me I have to say <laughs> but anyway so he's starting to be interested in girls and we were talking about you know a dating and getting married and things like this like all over and um, then he also like asked you know you and dad how is that and and I don't know whatever and we were talking also about a different couple um, where I have my questions if it is necessarily the best decision that they are together you know whatever okay um, so he then asked or he then said well as long as they love each other and I said like immediately without thinking too much yeah but that's not the most important and I was like <gasps> because like you, you get told everywhere that um, that love is the most important you know love is all you need blah 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 I'm not so sure you know now don't get me wrong I loved my husband when I married him anyway I still love him <laughs> you know it's not like an arranged marriage where you kind of either you fall in love on the way or you don't and then you're just not in love for the rest of your life you know um, it's not like that of, of course we love each other but um, over the years over the years of growing up and um, growing up in the sense of <sighs> growing up <sighs> not only gaining age but also experience in being married for 17 years and I know that is not like the biggest number out there but still in today's day and age you gotta reach 17 years you know a lot of people don't even reach that so I was thinking what what is the most important thing once you are not like teenager in love constantly thinking about each other drooling over each other constantly needing to be together um, all of that once you're over that which is like when you consider it a lifetime it's like that you know that that's how it is that's a real life check um, so what is the most important and that is actually what my son asked me and again without thinking much I heard myself say 
forgiveness. And I stand by that. I stand by that, that forgiveness, forgiving each other, is a, the most, the single most important thing. I think even more than loving. Yes, loving is super, super important and everything, but I feel if you don't have forgiveness, you can't even love. You cannot even love. The second you see flaws in each other, let me just get, get a different brush because I'm preachy. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let me get a different brush and now I'm gonna go in with the shade. What is that, 888? Whatever that stands for. Is that like, I don't know, the number for money or something? I don't know. So yeah, um, let's just go into this one, which is kind of the, the darker, sister or brother of the first shade it's really pretty really really pretty these shades though really yeah so anyway um i think forgiveness is the most important thing because um how can you stay in love or build a loving relationship once you start to see that your spouse does things that you never thought that he would do i'm not talking about like cheating or doing horrible things but even in normal life let's just um face it normal life is full of these tiny little annoying things that over time drive you nuts right what your spouse does or what what you do and then it annoys your spouse or whatever um at least that is my experience and don't like don't think we're having a bad marriage it's not that it's just uh, that is what life is you know two people thrown into this mix and making it work is hard you come with baggage you come with so much other stuff like um all your life experiences or not a lack thereof or um the way you were raised or all kinds of things you know so it is it is a miracle if it's if a union like this works for so many years and it is because you have to learn to forgive and to move on and to say well anyway <laughs> you know <laughs> you don't know how many times in my life I say in my head well anyway also when it comes to my kids you know <laughs> because sometimes it's just you can't say, well, what can you do you know if you get all worked up about it you will not do anything else you know and I just can't do that and my husband is the same do you know how many times per day we have to forgive each other without making like stopping the day and and saying okay now i'm going to consciously forgive you you know it is just a thing that happens inside and and that is what it is that is real life at least for me and feel free to share your experiences of course in the comment section okay now i want to go in um, with maybe something even a little bit darker maybe i'm gonna try this and if this is not a uh, dark enough for my liking then maybe with this one so let's see okay the first shade I showed you is a firm and I'm going to take a packing brush a bit of a packing brush and um, pack this just in the outer corner and then I'm going to blend it out with the shade 888 okay so I'm just going to pack this here to just have a little bit more of an orange dimension and um, I might still back that up with the other shade because I don't think that this is dark enough for me. I think I want to have a little bit more of a deep experience, you know what I mean? Okay, the other shade is Get Paid. Now I need another brush. You don't even know how many brushes I need per look. It's not, it's unreal. Okay, so Get Paid, which we all of course want to. And this one I'm going to just dab on. So if you don't see a lot of pigmentation coming off, that is because I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it easy, okay? because I want just a little bit more depth and not like a super crazy amount. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend this out with the shade 888 as I told you. All right, so that is basically what I wanted to say. And my, my son was really, really surprised. And of course, he has never been in a relationship. He's only 14 years old. And, you know, um, kids don't know at that. Well, my kids don't know at that age how things go, you know, like in real life. And um, I also think they shouldn't because it's too early. Um, but anyway, I just 
felt so surprised by myself that I that that was the first thing that came out out of the abundance of things that I could have said that that was the first thing that came out right so okay let's put on some shimmer and I want to definitely show you this one because this is a beautiful gold shade this is vibrations vibrations yeah and let's put that one on because it is a uh, gorgeous gorgeous in all capital letters if you can see what i mean maybe maybe <laughs> super super gorgeous and i'm going to just like place this here basically right um, underneath that yellowish shade and i'm going to also apply it in a second with my finger and then i'm going to blend this into um, this shade which i've also used already this is the shade inspire um this one yeah <laughs> so that is the more orangey leaning orange yeah i guess burnt orange or something like that um there is some fallout i have to say but anyway um shimmer yeah that's what I wanted to say okay so let's put that one on here and I think we have already a really really cute um, kind of fiery but not over the top look for me you know okay so anyway um, that's basically what I wanted to share that beyond everything that is behind the the idea of forgiveness or the concept of forgiveness i was more surprised about myself basically honestly you know because i was like wow where did that come from you know and where did it come from it came from my experience that this is so so important now i also have to say that basically my husband and i we come from uh well two different countries two different families and we also come well from two different continents because my husband is american but also um we are coming from two different generations because my husband is 21 years older than i am so that is also of course something where one definitely definitely needs forgiveness you know forgiveness understanding and then another dose of forgiveness because that is how you stay together this is how you raise a family you know because once you have children and you don't have all that much time for like the other things um, then you just need other things that that fill you you know and um, that that are important and that keep you together and uh, that is of course you know communicating and all of these things but it is also I do believe a very very important point to just every single day forgive yourself and also don't go to bed angry you know that's something that I learned super early on from my mom who said never never go to bed angry so that is what I'm trying to do does it always work no <laughs> because I'm a very passionate person and I do get angry you know I am you know I'm trying to be kind and sweet and everything but I'm very very passionate in what I see and what I believe and all of these things but um, you know it doesn't always work but as long as we always do our best at that moment I think we are already not on the safe side exactly but um, we already have like a foot in the door you know so that is what I wanted to share and now I'm gonna finish this look and um, I will be right back with the other two looks of course uh, with the swatches and then you will see me back here with the finished look and the finished styling so stay tuned here we are with the finished look and the finished styling and I'm so happy because I did it <laughs> I did it again yeah I have to say uh, yeah I mean look for yourself I think it turned out really really cute I also added a purple liner a purple winged liner and then a light green on my lower waterline and I actually added also some cold neutrals from the palette under my eye because while I was finishing the look I kind of figured out that those were also shades that I hadn't really used yet and and that is what I did so yeah <laughs> 
anyway so uh, let us talk about the look I also quickly wanted to show you a uh, which liner I used because I created that myself I went into my singles and I was debating either a dark green dark blue but blue I do a lot quite a lot because I love to do a winged liner in blue so I was like mm, but maybe a dark green or a dark purple okay so then I found actually uh, this shade right here this is from my Climanetrix singles and I got all my Climanetrix singles from Christine from Australia she uh, gave them to me and this is the shade Cabaret and it is a beautiful beautiful shade worked super super well to create this liner I have not used it as an eyeshadow as of right now but so so pretty really seriously pretty but anyway and I was actually debating to go for a different one also from Clamanatrix which is called Lost Woods which would have been like a dark green teal kind of a situation which could also have been nice and well there are so many shades that could have been nice but I went for the purple because I've not done a purple liner in a long time and then for the lower lash line I was really like you know let's do something surprising because it would be very very standard no matter what you put on your waterline it would be very very standard to just finish the look with orange right with burnt orange or whatever it is in the palette that is in that color scheme or in the broader color scheme but then I was like hmm haven't really used the neutrals you know I mean yes I have been using this shade right here for the inner corner highlight I think in every single look but then I thought you know what this is a beautiful cold brown which is just insanely beautiful you know so I placed this and blended it out under my eye and then put this of course in my inner corner and dragged it around the corner like on the bottom into that brown shade and I think it's really pretty and then to back up this brown uh, a little bit closer to the lower lashes I think I used yeah I think I used this one and this by the way now that you've seen the other looks this is also the shade that I used in my second look in my second look in my second look as a liner you know I created a liner with this shade all right is that true it could also be that I used this one. Maybe I used this one uh, for here. So anyway, yeah, sometimes it's confusing. Okay, so you have seen the swatches. Uh, yeah, so you have a whole abundance of beautiful, beautiful shades here. And I have to say, like, if you see especially the gold shimmer, how foiled that is, but also the other ones, it is uh, beautiful. I want to say that this gold is probably one of the best ones in my collection. It is so, so stunning. And also in combination with the other ones and with the mattes, it is beautiful. Now, I have to tell you, I do own two more palettes from P. Louise. I do own the Love Tapes palette and I do own the Worldy palette. I, and that's just my opinion and my observation, I could be completely wrong, but my personal observation is that she has amped up the quality of the shimmer shades by a thousand degrees. By a thousand degrees. Because, and I've reviewed the Worldy palette here on my channel, I don't think I've reviewed the Love Tapes palette, but I've used it a couple of times and looks and, you know, when I reviewed the Worldy palette, I think I also said that the shimmers were not too much my piece of game, you know? But um, I have to say that in this palette, it was beautiful. And also in the other palettes that I have the shimmer shades are among the darkest like mid-range or dark and here I think the variety is so much better you know you do have some darker ones you do have really really nice light ones I think for my personal makeup style this makes so much sense and I think the performance was really really good yeah so you do have seven shades per row so that makes 21 shades in this palette you do have of course uh, shade names you do have a huge mirror as you can see and this of is of course super bulky packaging so if that is a problem for you this is not going to be for you but the way she goes into detail the attention to detail in this is just incredible she is incredible you know I really like seriously you know in everything also please check out this chart that I showed you at the beginning because you know if you want to sit down and just figure out your goals and just put it into writing and have some help to give you the like certain steps and certain considerations that is something that is something you know it is so so cool of course I just showed you like a tiny little bit but there is so much on this that is also so positive and so so good you know yeah also the lashes are from P. Louise uh, they come in this box which is like really cool 
pretty cool. Yeah, and they applied very well. There was nothing wrong with it. It is maybe not my most favorite style because I like super bougie and like spiky and going out like this, but you know, there is a place for everything and they are not subtle lashes. They are not at all subtle lashes. It's just because I always go over the top and like beyond, you know? But anyway, I think uh, the whole performance was super, super good. I think the only shade that I have not tried, some some of the shades I only tried in a very small surface, but the only thing, the only shade I have not tried at all is this shade here. Besides that, I think I have tried all of the, the other shades in different looks and different placements. And um, I have to say there is not a single dot in the palette. I enjoyed every second. I enjoyed, enjoyed every look. It was extremely easy to work. Uh, with the palette uh, they were buildable either way you know either way you could go in with a lighter shade first like I did today and then uh, deepen it up or I also did for example in my first look the one with the cut crease I went in with the darkest shade first and then blended it out with the lighter shades towards the top also possible everything super nice blendable buildable I don't recall any staining as of right now I don't know how it is with today's look but with the shades that I've tried so far there was no staining there was some fallout uh, I have to say but you know I personally don't care because I finish off my face after I've done my eyes so but if you do your eyes last then you might want to be careful a little bit but besides that I think there was everything everything is just beautiful in this palette and now that I've gotten more back into this color scheme this palette makes so much sense for me you know and again this is one of those palettes palettes where I think, wow, if I had the time to just linger a little bit longer with that palette and explore more possibilities, that would just be great. But right now, kind of on a tight schedule, you know? <laughs> a lot of stuff that I want to review and show you. But anyway, I think you got an impression what can be done with this palette and it is just scratching the surface, I promise you. So for me, this is a total, total winner. This is the best palette from P. Louise that I have personally and I highly recommend it. I think it is beautiful. It is my most favorite palette from P. Louise, you know? that is basically what I want to say with all of that. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please leave me, of course, your comments in the comment section down below. I wish I could give you a discount code uh, for P. Louise because I have applied for one about 10 months ago when I'm filming this and it's still pending. So I don't know what's happening with that. I have written to them and asked them. They have not answered me yet. But I have to say, though, that customer service with P. Louise is really, really good. Like general customer service. I, of course, had uh, like a very, very special specific issue that is more like an influencer issue. It's not like a quality control or something like this. When I had a quality issue with my Love Tapes palette, they immediately responded. They were super helpful. Really, really nice. Okay, so anyway, um, but feel free to check out P. Louise in case you're interested in a big palette like this that gives you a lot. And, uh, and let me know what you think about it. Maybe you have it, then also let me know, you know? So we can totally chat about that in the comments and I'm always happy to hear from you. Besides that, of course, check out my description box because you will find everything that I have on my face of course in the description box in the list and besides that of course there are all my discount codes with other brands and also my links to social media which I highly recommend for you to check out. Besides that if you have not done so yet then please subscribe to my channel because that would absolutely make my day and I shall see you here next time for my next video and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye!